Stevie here. Thanks for tuning in to my laundry vlog. Uh, I've been doing laundry for years uh, outside of this place. There's no machines here, nor is there machines anywhere near this complex or this property. So for years, I've been having to walk to do laundry. I'm going to be visiting the newer place that I've been going to in the last year or two, uh, the one near Guitar Center. Hopefully I could get some live interactions with peeps and uh, just vlog anything I find interesting and commentate, commentating in between. Um, I am also thinking about going to the older place that I used to go to, the one that's been kind of going down the, the crapper the last couple years. And if you like uh, content like this, comment below and like the video, share the video, and uh, make sure to subscribe as well. And uh, yeah, if you also like it, I'll be doing more vlogs like this. I know I've been kind of uh, MIA on the vlog tip lately, but uh, I've been kind of getting this resurgence urge to do it more and uh, it's, it's it's just a different take on content opposed uh versus just the regular stevie weeby show and make sure to check that out as well love y'all peace mm. all right stevie here it is laundry day and um this is where i usually frequent it's called the hollywood laundry i'll take you to the other one i used to go to but this is the one i choose to go to because i love the lady that works here there she is um you can see the prices here um if you don't have your own detergent or uh, fabric softener and uh um and uh this is the duffel bag that i walk with uh similar to john j rambo in first blood how he just has a duffel bag because he's walking the streets okay uh, como se llama uh ramen ramen i love going to the laundry man my favorite one i used to go to the one at la brea mm -hmm. i go to this one because you're here I like that, that there's an attendant here and you've been so nice to me. So thank you. So what time are your hours of operation? Uh, we open at 8 and the last wash is at 8 and we close at 10. Okay, Every thank you. Day. Thank Monday you. Seven days a week. Seven days a week. You heard it first at the Hollywood Laundry. And I'm gonna do a little, I'm gonna do a little tour here. So, you know, they, you could even actually do a, you know, you could even drop your stuff here the wash and fluff and then yeah as you can see there's plenty plenty of washers and dryers these are all the dryers on the the outside area um and then uh they have their own baskets obviously this is for the more of the heavy duty loads okay and this one too maybe for the heavy duty loads and uh how much are these these are probably five dollars but since I am a frugal brother, I choose to go with these, okay? No shirt, no shoes, no service. Does that remind you of a quote from a, a movie that you may have seen back in the day? Fast Times at Ridgemont High. Okay, that's the scene with Eric Stoltz, right, and Sean Penn. And be looking out for this guy, okay? He did something very bad because this this has been up here for a very long time. He must look at that. He's, he did something, okay? He must have stole something because this has been up here for like over a year, okay? So keep a lookout for that guy. He did something very bad in this laundry mat that I love so much, okay? So I get the travel kit tied. You can get this at Target uh, in the travel area. I'll dump two of these in there and then just dump all my clothes in there. So there's several reasons why I actually like coming to this particular laundry mat. One, I get exercise. I get to, you know, get some sun, walk around. Uh, again, I can't emphasize there's a there's an there's an attendant here at all times and they're they're always so friendly and nice and i'm going to give you a kind of like uh an example because of the old laundry man i used to go to another one is that there's uh there's uh places i could eat around here it's near guitar center and sam ash if i need to get another mic cord or something or anything that i need like as far as podcast wise or if i wanted to just just kind of like 
do some window shopping or just kill time. Not only that, Ralph's is right next door. Um, and I just want to show you uh, some of the food options. So there's this, uh, hold up, geez, that's bad. Uh, so there's this, there's a pet store, animal hospital, and then these are the food options right there. The Trapiscus and barbecue rice place. There's also a Big Mama's pizzeria right there. Um, I'm going to show you exactly where uh, Marty's too is. Uh, the, I, I've talked quite a bit about Marty's on my podcast as far as when I used to do open mics. Um, it was like the workshop place. It's no longer here, but I'll show you where it was. So if you walk up here, this is, see this gate here? This is where Marty's used to be. So you would go in that room, pay him $5, and you could do like three to five minutes of material. As you can see, it's uh, back on the market or under uh, LES or whatever. I don't know what that means, but uh, oh, there's an urban ramen across the street. And then right down the street uh, is a, uh, let, let me just keep walking. There's a guitar center as well. I'll show you where it is. So this place is good if you if you want if you like ramen or whatever. Um, but let me just walk here. See Sam Ash is right there. As you can see, Sam Ash is right there. And Guitar Center is down there. So as you can see, it's around a lot of stuff. This is a cool liquor store. Nice Korean man owned. Oh, that's another thing. There's a lot of Korean owned businesses here. This is a Korean dude right here. Sunset Plaza, Korean dude there. Uh, Korean woman uh, runs Sunny Cleaners too. Nice Korean woman. Been here for about 20 plus years. She's not in there right now, but as you can see, yeah, definitely bring some business over here. It might be a competitor over there, but she, she kind of does her own kind of tailoring or whatever. See, this Korean woman owns this. Kind of doing her thing. She's probably she, she deserves a day off. She works a lot of the days, so yeah. Those are some of the reasons why I like coming here. So, so I'm right outside the laundry mat and I found this laying on the ground. It's kind of like a marble. I just called my girlfriend and she said it's something out of a fish aquarium, you know, that you would see at the in the bottom of the tanks. But I like the texture. I think I'm gonna keep it. It's kind of like a good luck charm. It's kind of the size of a Skittle and uh, it's making me feel good. It's like a clear crystal ball. I just thought I would share that with y'all. So as far as my drying, drying process, this is, I'll keep it simple. So the things that I don't want to shrink, these I put in a separate dryer and these other ones I'll just put on the highest temperature. These ones I put on a uh, perm press. I never knew what that meant but I just I've always done it that way okay so comment below I don't know what perm press means permanent pressed I don't know but that's the way I roll okay and now you can also get your own mailbox here this place is great isn't it look at that you, know, you get your own mini peel box look so this thing just pulled up I mean this is the coolest thing I've seen today guys I mean talk about grease lightning a grease of lightning this is my favorite part of doing laundry, the sense of completion. Everything's nice and folded and organized. And as you can see, stacks of three reinforces my OCD. Look at that, huh? And then now I'm gonna walk to my other laundry mat, the one that I used to frequent. Till next time. I'm here at the place where I used to do laundry and look, ironically, look what has happened. It has gone out of business. Look at that. I mean, towards the end, uh, the, the quarter machines didn't work. The soda machine didn't work. There was no attendant here. Um, the machines would continuously eat your quarters and look, look what happens. That's why the other place is the best. Best day ever. It was the best day for me because I found a new laundry mat. La Brea Coin Laundry, rest in peace. LAPD. So, what's your name, bro?
Les. Okay, Les. So um, I, I I I mentioned that I used to come here many many years. What had what was the downfall of this uh, laundry mat? Nothing worked. All the machines are broken. The change machines are broken. Keep going. Yeah, it's just nothing was. There was nobody there to maintain it. it just... So okay, so let's go over that again. The the quarter machine didn't work. Nah. The soda machine didn't work. None of that stuff worked inside. And then there was no attendant there. Exactly. So it was just a bad. Okay, let me give you a hypothetical. What if like the machine ate your quarters? Who was there a phone number to call? They would make you send an email, which rarely happened. Them ever come out to replace the stuff. It's just a nightmare. We even sometimes ourselves had to help them out with money out of our own pocket. Oh wow! That and that's yeah. that wasn't even your responsibility, nah, was that it? That wasn't even our responsibility. We just did that trying to keep them happy, but it didn't work. Thanks for thanks for your insights, brother. So I'm glad that place is done finally. Yeah. YouTube.com slash Stevie Weeby, YouTube.com slash Scissor Bros. If you like vlogs, keep subscribe and comment below. Love y'all. My buddy Skip is a trip, feeling blue like a crib. Straight for robbing a bank, letting loose from the hip. He really couldn't predict this grip was so full of amps. Tim and Henry were with Peckers, did a song and dance at bit. Oh, rodeo man in the West, you can. You're the best on the land, too. Bless the sands, do the bull with your hand. No, oh, Skip, you can. Get that fucking bull, pull on that rope. Feeling still crazy, maintaining against the grain. Making me want to get in a plane. The pain inside my brain never ends, sustain. I'm down for the count on the ground. Today, don't give it away, the peace and the praise, the rays Shining it down to mightiest crowns, the finest of frowns delayed Skippy's afraid, he feels betrayed, lift this way, can deal with shade His spade is a spade, he made the gray, displayed in a charade of pain I am not a man, I am an animal, a male I live by maritime, the law of water, about to sail When my mother had me, I slipped out of her canal What you call a sailing ship?